this tutorial, we're going to review how to format different cells so that they appear a specific way automatically. You can see right here we have five columns, money, date, percentages, text, and time. Now if I were to go into any of these cells, as you can see up here in the home ribbon, the formatting window right here says general. So whatever I type in here, Excel is going to use the most general way to make it show up. So if I want to do $500, I have to do 500.00 and it automatically takes away the dot even though I may have actually wanted that. For date, 4-9-12, it automatically converts that because it recognizes that as a date and percentages. Say I want to do 45%, I do dot .45, and instead of it making a, a percent, it made it at essentially 45 cents. For a text, 0, 5, 9, uh, right here, what this does is it's going to take away the 0, and it's going to treat it like a number, even if I actually wanted that 0 to appear there and wanted it to look like text and then time 540 and it just kept it right at 540 now what Excel allows you to do is to pre-format cells so that they appear a certain way so what we can do so that's a top line so you can see that for money I want to come up here and click on general and I can either go down and choose currency or accounting or there's also a shortcut I can actually just come up here and click right that right there and now if I type in 500 hit tab it keeps my zeros and also it puts a money sign in front of it so that's a great way if you have anything uh, revolving around money to choose that format and then it'll keep that universal across your document for the date the date one, it's pretty good about doing automatically, so you usually don't have to worry about setting that up too much. But what Excel is very good at is finding the long and the short date. So say that I wanted the long date, and I do the same thing I did before, 4912. It picks up Monday, April 9th, 2012. So that's a really good way of maybe finding out what day of the week it was on a specific uh, day just by typing that date in. If I click it and convert it from long date to short date, it puts it right back up there. So by default it does short date, but it's very easy to switch that to long. For percentages, if I want to do a percentage, I come down here, I could also select it right up there, and I type in .45, it gives me 0 0.45, 0 0.00% as opposed to what it showed up here. It's very easy because a lot of times you may not want to have those decimal places. It's very easy to just take those away. You can either come right here and add more zeros or to the right and take them away. And you have 45%. And anything you type in there will equal it. Excel is also very good at knowing uh, what your or predicting what you're typing in. So if I type in point, uh, just 90, it keeps a percent. If I do point 90, it converts it and makes it 90%. So just be aware of that. And so you would have to change the formatting and what you type in if you're wanting to put something like 900% or something like that. Uh, you'd actually just have to type in 900. It doesn't convert all of it automatically. Uh, for text, now this is a little bit of a tricky one. As if you remember, for the item right above it and the cell right above it, I typed 058390, uh, which could be potentially a serial number or something like that, where we wanted to see the zero. Anytime you type a number into Excel, Excel is going to convert that into an integer, into a number as opposed yeah but it and it doesn't know if you want it to be text or not so we have to tell it that you want it to be text so the best way of doing it is coming up here but you're not going to find what you need in uh, these automated formats you have to click on more number formats and come down all the way almost to the bottom here and click text 
and you can even see what it says right here. Text format cells are treated as text even when a number is in the cell. So the cells get to display exactly what has been entered. Click OK. And now I'm going to type in the same thing, 058390. And as you can see, now it shows it exactly like how I typed it in. It does, though, have this little green box right up here. If we click on it, and it says, we essentially it's saying we think that uh, this is a number. Would you like to convert it to a number? You can click ignore error, and the green bar will go away. And there you go. Time is another one where you can have a specific format. And so you can come up to general, select time. And now when I type in 540, it converts it to 540. It assumes AM. Um, you can change it to PM or anything like that, obviously. Um, but it automatically is going to uh, start in the AM. So that's just some quick uh, tips and tricks on uh, formatting and how you can get the text to appear a specific way by using these kind of preconditioned uh, settings.